Hello everyone, this is Iron Cross. Today I'd like to discuss the National Atheist Day. Atheists do not have a National Day of Celebration that recognizes their atheistic evolution religion. We as Christians celebrate Easter, Good Friday, and Christmas. The Jewish people celebrate Hanukkah, Rosh Hashanah, and Passover, just to name a few. As well as Muslims, they celebrate Ramadan. But when it comes to the atheists, they don't have a day set aside, recognized, as a day for atheists to celebrate their atheistic evolution religion. In all fairness, I would like to suggest a day that best suits their religion. I suggest April 1st, as the day all atheists set aside as a day just for them. April Fool's Day. That's what's cool about being atheist. If we want to, we can celebrate Christmas in July. We can fucking celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas at the same time. I think I'll call it Hanukkah Christmas. In Psalms 14.1 we read, For the fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have all done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Many atheists will attack Christians and demand we give them proof. They scream the burden of proof is on you to prove God is real. The burden of proof is on the one making the positive claim. Try to picture me taking you to court accusing you of being a serial child molester. And now the burden of proof is on you to prove that you did not rape a bunch of five-year-old boys. What if you don't have an alibi? Then you're screwed. Well, what's God's word say about this? In Romans 1.20, God's word says, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. The truth is, atheists, God says you already have sufficient proof and are without excuse. So on Judgment Day, no one can say, you didn't give me enough proof of your existence, because clearly, in Romans 1.20, God says these things are clearly seen and you are without excuse. It says right here, I'm always right. It also says that everything I write is true. And it also says that you're a pedophile. This constitutes as evidence that you're a pedophile. As well as that, you cannot say, I never heard the gospel. Because that's also covered in God's word. In Matthew 24:14, we read, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. Time is so very short. Jesus told us what the end times would look like to let us know when his coming is near. He said, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Sound familiar, folks? All these are the beginning of sorrows. But behold, I have told you before. So likewise, when you shall see these things, know that it is near even at the door. There is no doubt we are living in the end times. Well, at least according to Harold Camping. Time is so very short. Choose you this day whom you shall serve.